The Dangers of Climate Change by Carl Sagan. This excerpt is taken from the fourth chapter of Carl Sagan's most famous work, Cosmos, 1980, titled Heaven and Hell. The book is a fine blend of science and philosophy, written in a style charged with poetic energy. In the concluding part of the fourth chapter, Carl Sagan discusses how both natural and human activities have shaped and will continue to shape the Earth's environment. Just as the Sphinx in Egypt, built over 5,500 years ago, has been worn down by natural weathering processes such as sandblasting and rain, Cleopatra's Needle, an ancient Egyptian obelisk in New York City, has been damaged by pollution. According to Carl Sagan, landscapes are shaped by both gradual erosion and sudden catastrophes, and he draws comparisons between the Earth's environmental processes and those on other planets and moons. On Earth, events like heavy rainfall can create large basins, while slow processes like the movement of glaciers can reshape landscapes. On other planets and moons like Mars and Jupiter's Io, there are signs of both dramatic changes and slow processes. Additionally, intelligent life can significantly alter a planet's landscape and climate. Earth's greenhouse effect caused by carbon dioxide and water vapor keeps the planet warm enough for liquid oceans and life. But this delicate balance is on tender hooks now, thanks to human activities. So it is only because of man that all these things are on delicate balance. These parochial, unharnessed and thoughtless activities increase CO2 levels and could lead to significant climate changes if not addressed. By bringing together these various environmental aspects including historical erosion, planetary comparison, human impacts, Sagan not only warns us of the looming dangers but weaves together the scientific and humanistic aspects of our understanding of the cosmos. Thank you. Please do subscribe.